Hi everyone, it's Matt from Landsurf. Just wanted to give you a quick video update on the progress of redesigning the Nano V2 remote to be more ergonomically acceptable to my hand. This motion for me using the thumb isn't as comfortable as a trigger style device. Since the electronics in the Nano V2 are good, I decided to redesign the case. And this is what I came up with. I call it the hammerhead for obvious reasons. Trigger style, accelerate and brake. The power button and USB port have been recessed, so there's no chance of accidentally turning them on. I fixed the lanyard issue. This lanyard is really simple to install. You just run it through the hole and back through itself and it's super strong and tight. The lights, uh, you can see through the holes here. Everything still works there. And the mode switch here on the back. There are also a number of color options. This was printed in black and then had a gloss uh, coating put on it after it was sanded. This was printed in white plastic, sanded and coated with gloss, and then I painted the, the grip here. And this one uh, has not been processed yet was printed initially with some red, and then I switched it halfway through to the black. This gives you a cool two-tone color that's not paint. It runs all the way through. Here's another unfinished one that I just printed with a white stripe and red plastic. And like I said, the white and red runs all the way through. It's not paint. Now this one is certainly usable as it is, but if you sanded it with some fine grit sandpaper, and then put a coat of varnish over that, you'd have a really nice shiny remote with no layer lines at all. And taking a look at the inside, you can see the layout here. What you do is you take your Nano V2 remote apart with the three screws. You take these two pieces out. And what I've had to do is lengthen this wire slightly. Didn't have enough reach for this design, so all I've done is lengthen these three wires, put some solder, and you simply run the wire underneath, put the circuit board in there, it's nice and flush. You route the wire up here to the top, put in that tension meter there, and that's essentially it. Now you need the trigger. So you add a little bit of glue into the hole here. Super glue works well. And that pushes on like so. And then the other side gently goes over that. And then we're gonna secure it in place with these eight screws in the back. And that's it. Lots of color combos available, lots of possibilities. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think.